The pectoralis major muscle has two heads, the clavicular head and the sternocostal head. The clavicular head is innervated by the lateral pectoral nerve, and the sternocostal head is innervated by the medial and lateral pectoral nerve. So the upper portion of the pec major is the clavicular head, which originates from the clavicle, the mid portion of the clavicle. And then on costal cartilage one through five, the sternal head originates and on the sternum. And then some call the origination on the sixth costal cartilage and the abdominal aponeurosis, the costal head. So here are all the originations. And then for the insertion, both um, heads of the pec insert onto the crest of the greater tubercle. The accents of the pec major would be horizontal adduction, it also does internal or medial rotation of the shoulder and adduction of the shoulder. The pec major does flexion of the extended arm and extension of the flexed arm. Hi, today we're going to be testing the actions for the pec major. I am going to be testing the clavicular or the upper fibers for the pec major today with Maddie. The action that we're going to be testing is horizontal adduction. So we're going to ask her to do is raise her arm, flex it to 90 degrees, and we're going to ask her to move it across her body to see if she can do it on her own to get a basic idea of her strength. Okay, so because she could do that on her own against gravity, she would at least have a score of three to five. Now we're gonna try and test it against resistance to see how much strength she has. So she's gonna do the same motion, and I'm gonna place my hand on the proximal location and put my hand here at the distal location. I'm gonna ask her to press against my resistance here at the distal. Okay, she was not able to move my hand at all, so she would have a score of five out of five. Great job, Maddie. Okay, so I'm gonna be testing the um, sternal part of the pec major with Kathy. So what the pec major, the sternal part does is obliquely adducts and helps to medially rotate the shoulder. So what I'm gonna have her do is flex her shoulder up to 90 degrees. And this time, instead of moving um, straight across the body, we're gonna to move to the opposite hip or opposite iliac crest. So I'm gonna have her try that on her own. With a slight medial rotation, I'm going to ask Kathy to move her arm actively to the opposite hip. Go ahead and do that. Good. So now we know she has at least a three out of five strength. Now I'm going to resist her. I'm going to stabilize here on the opposite hip. We're going to put her in slight medial rotation, and I'm going to ask her to obliquely adduct, and we're going to um, put a little bit of resistance into a flexion motion because the lower part of the pec major also helps with extension, so we want to resist that motion. And then I'll ask her to um, go ahead and try and move down while I resist. Good, towards the opposite hip. Good, she didn't move my hand at all, so now we know that she has a five out of five strength. And then we would test bilaterally to make sure there are no abnormalities on the other side. So one of the functional limitations of a weak pec major would be trying to reach up and across to get a cup out of your kitchen cabinet. Another functional limitation would be trying to put on a jacket because that requires flexion and horizontal adduction and medial rotation.